I just have three really brief kind of comments to make. The first is to thank the governor for signing this. And of course, for if there's any AGs in the room, <laughs> thank them for finally coming around to our point of view and accepting our language. We really appreciate the, the partnership with the executive branch. The second group of people I'd like to uh, thank is both the community and my colleagues. Um, first, to the community. You know, this has been a 20-year journey. Uh, we have, um, in the past, we've lost some people who worked hard on this, long and hard on this. I'm not going to be able to mention everybody's name, but there's a couple of key people. I think when we look at 1998 and we look at the people who were there then, we know it's Aquan Nakarat with a strong, vibrant voice. We know Max Botticelli as a pain and palliative care specialist and an instructor at Jackson. We know Jeff Crabtree, who struggled with his own um, struggles in the courts with his own mother. Mary Cook, so many of these individuals. Joining those names are people like today we have in the community, Lucian Wong, Scott Foster, Mary Joyner, and of course John Radcliffe. Thank you to all of you for, for, for struggling with us and for, for pushing us and helping us evolve in our thinking as legislators. When I look back on the legislative process, you know, there are names like, and I have to get this right, again, I'm not gonna say everybody, but we have names like Hamakawa, Blake Oshiro, Marita, Suki, Thielen. We have names today that are joining those groups. And I'm gonna see all my representatives, colleagues, because I have to, in the room. Krigan, Morikawa, San Buenaventura, Evans, Kihokole, Lerma, Takayama, Todd. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, all of you helped push the conversation along during the year when folks thought that there was no hope, and that is the power of the caucus. That is the power of conversations that we all have to continue to have. So you may be disappointed in one year, but you have to keep coming back and having those conversations. My two colleagues that I have to really thank on the House side are Representatives Mizuno and Representative Ishimoto. We struggled with this, we listened, and we worked hard. On the Senate, again, all of the senators, but especially Senator Rhodes, Senator Taniguchi, and Senator Baker. It, you could not have done this without me, and I thank you all. My last comment is that for me, what this bill is about is about a choice, but as I said on the House floor, it's a choice that you, an individual can make so that they are able to think about how they want to live the rest of their life. This is a bill, not simply about the choice to die, but how do you want to live your remaining life? And that is the message that I think that we should all take away from this because we all know that there is an end to this wonderful experience. So no matter if you're terminally ill, no matter if you have a long life to live, and no matter, because you don't know, you can walk out of this room and something tragic could happen. This is a moment to think about how we all want to live um, every day of our lives. So thank you. John, if you could tell me, uh, all the legislators can join in the I'll sit over here. House Bill 2739, House Draft 1, relating to health. Is now law in the state of Hawaii is Act 2. <laughs>
Yeah. 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 Yeah.